The purpose of this video is to explain the basics of loading a coal hatch. In most cases, there are at least two or three passes or pores in each hatch. The first pore is usually simply divided in half, pouring fore and aft two large piles down the center line of the ship. The ship loader would be in bypass mode. Always watch the toe of the pile while loading to ensure that you are pouring dead center. On the next pour, you would start loading inshore and offshore, starting with the four corners. Always watch your scale and put equal tonnage on both sides of the hatch. Remember, whatever you load on the one side of the hatch, you must load on the other. This is to keep the ship upright. Position the shiploader's bypass chute close to the combing to get the coal to flow under the wings. Watch the peaks of each pile and keep at least 10 feet between the top of the pile and the hatch combing. This is to allow for trimming of the hatch, throwing the coal under the combings to fill in the wings. Continue making piles around the circumference of the hatch. Do not bring the center of the hatch up too high as there must be room to boom down the trimmer into the hatch later. Occasionally, the foreman will tell you that the stow in a particular hatch is a blend. This means more than one type of coal will be loaded into the same hatch. The different types of coal must be stowed in layers. So in this situation, the operator would not be making two large piles on the first pour. Instead, the pour target would be divided up into eight or more small piles placed around the bottom of the hatch. The next pour into the hatch, the operator would once again make a series of small piles on top of the first layer, forming the next layer. Even when making a layered stow, do not bring the center of the hatch up too high until the hatch has been trimmed. Once there is nowhere else to pour the coal without blocking the wings or filling up the center, it is time to use the trimmer. Close your gate, run off the conveyors, then shut down. Switch into trim mode, boom the ship loader down till the trimmer is well below the combing, then restart your conveyors. Now open the gate and adjust your feeders to run between 1200 and 1500 tons per hour. Once you start receiving cargo, you will see the swing of the trimmer. When possible, move the trimmer close to the combing to throw the coal under the wing as far as possible. Usually, fill the four corners first, again watching the list of the ship. Continue working around the hatch until the wings are completely full, right up to the combing. When at this point, the operator would switch back into bypass mode and fill in the center of the hatch.